Aerobic septic systems, let's talk about them. How does an aerobic septic system work? And how do you maintain one? And how much does it cost? What type of septic system do you have? Or what would you need if you were renovating or building a new home? No, these aren't exactly the sort of questions that would get conversation bubbling around the water cooler. But they're important questions to ask because not all septic system types are created equal. And in certain locations and situations, some work better than others. Let's take a look at the answers. How does an aerobic septic system work? There are conventional septic systems, and then there are more complex aerobic septic systems. In one word, the difference being oxygen. While a conventional septic system uses only the septic tank to separate solids, fats, and grease, an aerobic treatment system uses oxygen infusion for digestion rather than an aerobic process. As in the case of conventional or standard systems, an aerobic septic system uses natural processes to treat wastewater. Add chlorine to your tank. Aerobic septic systems are one of the most complex and advanced systems for treating waste. But what's involved in maintaining an aerobic septic system? First, you must add chlorine to your tank. This is something you can easily do yourself as long as you've checked the frequency and dosages specified in the owner's manual. Don't use pool chlorine as this will not disinfect the wastewater. It will, however, kill your grass or vegetation. Remove the lid on your aerobic septic system, add the recommended amount of septic-friendly chlorine, then screw the lid back into place. Keep an eye on the spray fields. It's all about noticing the minor problems before they become major. Spray heads that are broken or not spraying correctly should be replaced with proper septic spray heads. Don't use irrigation sprinkler heads as these aren't compatible with the operation of a septic system. If the spray heads are constantly on, if you notice puddles of water, or if there's a foul odor coming from your septic system, it might be time to call a maintenance expert. Keep a maintenance record. Having the model name on hand, the capacity, the provincial license, and the date that your system was installed will help you identify which system you have and the maintenance requirements specific to your system. Documenting the dates of all services and tests performed on your system will help you keep track of what happened and when. At least every six months, make sure you test, measure, and record the chlorine residual of the effluent in the pump tank, the depth of the sludge in the trash tank, and the volume of the sludge in the aerobic treatment unit. A clarity test will also be important. And remember, if it goes down the drain, it will end up in your septic tank. How much does an aerobic septic system cost? Aerobic septic systems are more complex than standard systems, and they're also more costly. The value lies in the speed and advanced level of treatment that you can expect from an aerobic septic system. Here's a breakdown of the estimated cost for our systems and services. Design services are typically $2,000 for type 1 gravity systems and $2,500 for type 2 gravity systems and pressure systems. But please note, these costs will vary depending on the region of British Columbia and the accessibility of supplies. For a quote specific to your location and situation, call 250-768-0056 to speak with one of our maintenance experts. Or feel free to visit our site and leave us your details. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.